Hello, hope you're all doing well. I thought I'd do a Kobo Libra 2 review on this e-reader because when I was looking mines up to buy this, um, the people that were doing reviews, they were very good. They were just doing the technical side of it, using big long words, you know, for the computer clever people. I'm just a normal human with basic knowledge, but I just thought I'd tell you in basic terms what the Kobo um, Libra 2 does and what I've noticed I've had it it's three months it's quite addicting I'm not into e-readers um, I don't like Kindle I don't really support Amazon to be honest with you but that's another story but um, yeah I've really enjoyed this and yeah I bought this magnetic um, folder off of Amazon you could buy the designer one that goes with the Kobo I think that's 60 quid, but this only costs, I think it's 12 99 on eBay. Um, so this is the Cobra Libra 2, 32 gigabyte, Wi-Fi enabled, which means, um, I'll show you in the video, but basically, like, if there's a word you didn't know, you could click on it, and it'll either bring up its internal um, dictionary, or you can go onto Google if it doesn't know, like, modern world words. Um, I'll go onto Google for you and it'll tell you what's on there. This cost me £159.99 from Argos. So, I love it. When you open it up, when it's par see, powered off, it gives you the book cover, which is really cool. So it's kind of still like a book. And then the two buttons, that's what enticed me really to, um, instead of flicking, you just press a button. Can't go wrong with a good old-fashioned button, can you? Let's turn this on. Dad. See the light there? It tells you it's turning on. So it takes a couple of wee minutes. That took about a minute and a half. I had to um, go off and help my son with something. He's right here. Dad. I hope you can hear me over him. Hang on. So when you first get it, you have to, as in, like, with any laptop or phone or whatever. No, no touch. You have to download all your settings and um, what language you use and things like that. And then you just get onto your basic setup and then you make a Kobo account. So this is my front page. So this is the three books I'm reading at the moment. It tells you the percentage of what you've read. This is the ones you've bought. And then you can add, like I put my DNF, um, which means I did not finish them, my collection here. You've finished 11 books and read for 10 hours. Um, so if I go to my books, put my, put my Wi-Fi on to show you. It's kind of weird, I'm trying to look through the phone. Yeah, it's kind of hard looking at it through my phone. Right, okay. So, I press my books. So if I go to... You can do Overdrive, which is connects to your local library. Most of the UK uses Overdrive. But my little library uses Borrowbox. And Borrowbox doesn't convert to Overdrive on here. Which is a shame. But never mind, I still use Borrowbox on uh, my phone. So if I go on my wish list... And these are the ones that I want to buy, which is kind of cool. You can make a little wish list. Some of them are um, from the daily offers that you'll see, so that's why they're 99p. Sorry about the pause. I had to go tell my son off because um, he's, he's a year and a half and he's at that age. Um, he wants to play with my dog and crawl under and pull her tail and everything. I hope you can hear me. Um, anyway, so these are the favourites, apparently, which is 52 up there, it says. I, I just add books I'm interested in on this and then just hope that they come up on um, offer. That's had really bad reviews. I don't know if it's worth watching. Um, watching, reading. So that's that. So I'll go 
back to my books. Um, and these are the ones I own. So as I said, it tells you how much you've read, unread. And it starts from recent buys and works its way backwards. So the um, Sunny are, is not a recent buy, but it's because I'm reading it, it's up there. So once there were wolves is a new buy. And then I go down, down. <laughs> And the little vineyard on Province was my first buy. So you can either do it like that or you can click Authors, by Series. So that's the only two that's in Series. And Collections means my collections. So Finished and DNF. So if I want to add a book, click on it. And then you go Manage Collection. <laughs> And then you just add one. I'm not adding one at the moment. And then you just press save at the bottom and then close. So if you go to discover, it has to be at Wi-Fi connected so it can get all the books. Probably going to take a while because my Wi-Fi is terrible. So discover you've got daily deals oh I pressed the wrong button daily deals oh no I didn't <laughs> it's because I own that on paper copy that's a good book by the way if you want to read that um, so that's your daily that's just been added today for 99p and then the top 50 I don't know whether to get that one or not and then the list goes on of all the other ones. So we go back over here. Um, if you press down, it's recommended reads of the month, biggest and best new sellers, based on ebooks and films, hot. And new, new crime and thriller, romance. And as you said earlier, you can search up there for something. Or you can press where I made a mistake earlier. And physically <laughs> type it in. You're right, boy. <coughs> okay. Um, and more... Um, your articles so you can download newspapers and magazines onto there but I haven't um, activity you can win these little stickers yeah. like welcome to the reading life what's this ah. master of art of the long press um, reading stats Um, beta features so you can browse the internet directly from your e-reader large print mode sketch pad my words expand um, as you can see I don't use any of that but if it interests you it's there um, and then your settings count <laughs> I had to whiz you away from the account because I forgot it shows email but I'll read you what it says so it shows me my email that's linked to my Kobo account and it says your VIP member points so every time you buy a book that's not uh, 99p you get quite a lot of points and they work towards um, towards buying a book so earn 400 points for every £10 you spend on an ebook. Get 10% off exclusive lists of 1 million titles. Earn points on bonus days. Get additional £10 off Kobo promotions. Get one free ebook everywhere, every year from one of your favourite genres. Redeem from 1 million books starting with 2,400 points. Now I've got 1,300... 1, 1, 
three thirteen thousand no sorry I'm dyslexic with numbers I've got one three three zero points so I'm nearly halfway there to get in a free book and that's took me it says here I joined on July the second yeah so three months basically owning this so I'll pause you so back to the uh, the settings menu this is another one sorry he's really noisy at the moment so your sleep timer um basically the settings that you like like show book covers full screen <laughs> Brody that's naughty and then um the one that I use the most is reading settings so you can change I use the down button for next page or you can turn it in inverted and the top one's your next page. Um, my header says percentage of trapped or read. The footer normally says other stuff as well. I'll turn that on. Time a minute and book. Can you see that? Oh, I'll show you again. So when you click it, it gives you the options what you want on the footer. Sorry. On the footer page, so pages left in book, percentage of book read, time remaining on book. So I've just turned it on for you. Maybe I should have made this video when he was asleep, but I'm on a time limit. Um, so I've turned that on and I put that bottom one as time remaining. Um, percentage of chapter read is at the top and you'll see this when I show you a book in a minute. Um, this is it up here's your search bar that's refresh my battery is dying but you can click on it and it tells you and an energy saving stop blurring brings you onto these settings if you want to change them and i haven't charged this for over i say a month month and a half the charge hold on this is really long and it takes less than an hour to do a full charge. Now, when you buy this, you do not get a plug, but you get the traditional, um, like, universal plug. You know, it's like a USB on one side, and if I can find it for you. Hang on, I'll find it for you. One of them, you know? So it's one of them on that side, and then a USB on the other, and then you just put it in the plug. Um... That's your Wi-Fi, but mine's it's off. And then that's your brightness control, if you wanted to. But I'll show you how I do my brightness in a minute. So, um, let's go home again. I'll click on them here. I like how it's all black and white. So you see 20% red, that's off the chapter. And then that's what's left of the book time down there. And I don't know if this will pick up because I'm filming in daytime. But my brightness control, I can use just using the side there. I don't think it picks up. See, that looks like daytime. There's no light on there. And then I'm putting the... And now I'm putting... No, no. Typical, it's not doing it when you want to do. See, it says brightness. 20% all the way up. And that's just using my finger on the side. And that's really white now. Um, put it to 94. So there's 100% brightness. So if I See, that's dark. Oh, it's telling me off now. Charger, charge. So I don't use the back and light during the day. Because you can see it's just like a book, you know. So I turn that off. And as I said, what I like about when I'm reading is if I'm lying in bed and I get bored line on one side using this you can rotate it 
and that still sticks the bottom button still sticks as your next page you see so the controls are just the same when it's flipped and this case i know it's the knockoff case it's based off the case that comes with it and i'll show you so if you buy the magnetic case you can turn it and it's got its own little stand you know from the little flaps you see which i quite like if you're having um drinking a cup of tea or whatever you can just do that so you've got um auto rotate or you can lock them in as well change the size of the margins and whatnot if you like and you can also do this see which is really good So sometimes if I leave my book hanging out, which I shouldn't do, I love this machine, I try to keep it away as much as possible. But if I leave it out too long, and I'm busy in the kitchen or whatever, and I come back, I find my boys have moved it, because it, my oldest is four, he likes messing about with it. Um, what else have I got to show you? You can do chapters, so you can pick all your chapters. Um, you can an annotate, I'm not an annotator. Um, so you hold it just like that, like you would, and it comes up, undo highlight, add note, search. Um, if you didn't know a word, you can press it, and um, press search. So, see, it comes up with its internal dictionary, it tells you there, um, or you can search in the book which is weird it just shows you other pages with that word in or you can search on wikipedia or google it's up to you so i'll show you google and it just comes up now i do have to say the search engine is Pretty poor, but then that's not why you're buying an e-reader, is that you're buying it to read books, not to be on the internet. Otherwise, you just use your phone or tablet or whatever. Um, you can bookmark a page. No, it's not. Mm. I've forgotten how to bookmark. You can bookmark it. But I've forgotten, obviously, how to do it. As I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just a normal human showing you what to do. There you go. So I press these three buttons. You can write a review when you're done. View details of, like, the blurb of the book when you're buying it. Uh, dictionary and hints and tips. What's that for? I haven't used that before. Oh, there you are. It's telling you how to use it. Um, I'll show you now, say you went to buy a book, there you go, so say I went to buy this one, click on it, can buy a wish list and um, that's the ratings and reviews so that's the details how many pages and whatnot how long it takes what somebody's written and then similar books if you like this book you might like this book kind of thing there's that Obviously, I'm not going to buy it, but um, you get the process. And then when you buy it, it just comes up with your saved um, bank account details, and then it goes straight to that. So, there we are. That is... That is my mini review.
of the Cobo Libra number two. And then when it's sleeping, it just goes back onto this, the book cover page. Love it. Anyway, so I hope this is useful to some people and I hope you can hear me as well. Um, yeah, okay. All the best. Any or oh, any questions that I haven't made clear, you can write in the comments below and I'll try and answer you. Okay? Cheers now. Bye.